and to be 100% honest. I'm unsure how I did. I do believe that it might be possible that I didn't pass. What's going on guys? So I just wrote, or not wrote, but did the night costume and um, I don't know, let's see what's up. <laughs> Very straightforward, they don't want us talking about the cases, they don't want us talking about what was on it. Luckily, anything that I've recorded prior to this video is just about how I prepped for it, what I did, and at the time I hadn't taken the exam, so I shouldn't get in trouble for that. And I don't want to talk about any content that was on the exam, so I don't get into trouble for that either. But one of the things that was mentioned was we are allowed to talk about how we felt, how difficult it was to maybe even get to the center, this and that, but no contents of the exam. So how do I think I did? We'll find out. Did I make a lot of stupid mistakes? I sure did. And yeah, I'll say that one thing, you would think like you have a rest station, you can chill out, you can sort of relax your mind, which is, yeah, I guess. But sometimes in those rest stations, you sit there and you start thinking about all the mistakes you may have made, things you should have asked, blah, blah. So yeah, like don't, don't do that. Like when you're there, Try to chill, maybe write out your mnemonics, do whatever you need to do, but don't think too much about I missed this or did that. And if you do, if you do, don't beat yourself up for it. Rather learn from that and make sure you don't make that mistake for any of the subsequent stations. That's the advice I can give you. And I sort of did that, but there was a point where I just started making myself feel kind of bad. And I just felt like, oh, like I wasted all this time and money and effort for what? And then I told myself to just shut up and just make sure not to make those mistakes again. <sighs> so there was that. And as far as some of the other like little things I just want to say without obviously giving anything about away about the exam content is when you're there and you're taking the exam, sometimes you feel like you're missing something or something's not right because like the exam is looking at you and the person is looking at you maybe there was something that i missed maybe there isn't i don't know but don't get too caught up in that because i remember i had a pretty good well, or what i think was a good interaction or a good case and then in the end i got these post encounter questions and then um the examiner is kind of looking at me and i gave my answer and they're just looking and then i i'm starting to feel like should i should i say something did, did i miss something and i'm looking at it i'm just trying to like figure it out and stuff and now i'm thinking of like all of these things i could have should have said and blah 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 but you do what you can and it is what it is so whoever takes the knack best of luck to you and hopefully i pass and uh we'll see what happens we'll do a score reveal so peace so i don't know if this is going to be part of my video or not i'm going to post it or not but i'm driving back home back to where i live here in toronto thinking about all the cases that i went through and to be 100 percent honest I'm unsure how I did. I do believe that it might be possible that I didn't pass. I can think about a few different things. The moment I had left the room, I had realized, damn, I should have said that. I should have asked about this. I should have done this or done that. In one of the cases, I even knew what the diagnosis was. And I just said the wrong thing. In another case, very simple case, like so, like so simple. I said what the problem was, but there is an actual condition. There's a name for that condition, and I know what the name of the condition is, and it's pretty common and it's easy. It's like there's so many mistakes I can think about right now. I do believe that maybe I didn't pass this exam. I know that regardless of what the result will be. No quitting. No matter what happens, no quitting. You keep going, it's just one stupid exam, okay? And you just keep fighting. And you go to the next step and the next step. Like, so what? Like, if it didn't happen this year, it'll happen next year. I know it'll take longer and it's annoying and I'm gonna have to put in more work and it'll just make it harder for me. But don't give up. Just don't give up. Just keep fucking going. This is a message to myself so that at any point I watch this on us, like, whatever, shit happens, man. Like, shit fucking happens. So just, like, keep going. Don't, like, stop because of one stupid exam. And again, I'm straight saying, like, that exam was absolutely fair. It's not hard to get those diagnoses. 
been giving you enough hints to be able to figure out what it is. And if I didn't get it, then I didn't get it. This is what it is, man. I'm not here pointing fingers at him or her or this or that. I take full responsibility, full ownership. And all I'm saying is that if the result is not a pass, it's always next year. It just means continue to fight, study for step three, do a few more electives, get really good letters, shine, but do not quit. I don't care what happens. I'm not gonna let this one exam be the dictator of everything. Next up, step two CK. Hopefully I'll do well in that. I just gotta go prep. I have a few days left before I have to go write that exam. So it is what it is. Just look forward. If I don't pass NAC OSCE and I can't apply this year, okay, next year. Pass that, get my applications down, and we go from there. If I need to, I'll take NAC OSCE again next year. Ready, prep better but all i'm saying is that i'm thinking about a lot of things that i wish i had asked about not even about the things i wish i had asked about but there's things that i knew i even knew why didn't i say it though you know what i mean obviously in the case that i do end up posting this video i don't want to say what it is because i'm not supposed to talk about the content of the exam but i can at least talk about my experience in the exam it's not a hard exam really it's not and if i don't do well then like i said i take full ownership of that it is what it is it's hard for me to like drop it i can't just I, i'm telling myself like yo listen Anna, stop talking about it stop thinking about it it's over now move on to the next thing but it's just it's difficult to just move on when a i've just recently written it and two I know where I went wrong. You know, it's one thing if you don't know. If that was a knowledge deficiency. I didn't even know that, so whatever. My bad. But it's another thing if you know and you just didn't really say or talk about it. And instead, you were just so focused on trying to be in the moment that you didn't take a step back to sort of think about your thoughts and think about, hey, listen, these are what I'm thinking right now. I should ask about this or that. If I had to take a step back, why didn't I take a step back? Even if that means there's a moment of silence, even if that means it's there's a little bit of external pressure, it doesn't matter because if at the end I come up with the right answer, then who really cares? But if I'm trying to be in the moment and I'm just trying to say something, get inside, I have all these other thoughts that I just need to collect and sort of just have it organized in the right way or if I'm thinking something and I just don't say it because I maybe thought of something else or I'm just too in the moment and that's really a, a fault on my own end and I'm just being 100% honest about everything I'm just saying everything that I need to say <sighs> let's see what happens let's see what the result is